Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's Neela B and today I'm coming back with my red iguana finger again and I am creating a marbled French tip design. So basically I am using these tips that I got from Amazon and just shaping up my nails so that way it could be nice and trend, you know, just a nice transition. I'm coming in with a nude from JC Beauty Concept. I am using my no odor monomer from Sheba nails um this is a cool no odor monomer but my favorite one is from nail supply glamour but i was out of it so i used this one this one is a little bit oily for my liking and it's a lot slower setting than the one from nail supply glamour so yeah it took a little bit longer but made it work but anyways i applied my new color from jc beauty concepts and just worked around the edges because i didn't want to do all of that filing so i tried to keep it as neat as possible so I did not have to come in and do the filing when it came time to do my French. I wanted to build up my nude as much as possible so that way when I come in with my clear I could really just focus on encapsulating the smile line and the color at the tip. my marble tip i'm using the dip powder it's called go getter from double dip nails i make sure i leave the link in the description box i also have a 25 percent off coupon for them so if you use the code mila b you will save some coins so what i did was i went ahead and applied this very thin at the entire base because i wanted everything to have that lime color and then once I got the base pretty much, you know, to my liking, that's when I came in with a little white and a little lime and swirled it in. Looking back, I probably would have like skipped the whole filling the lime color in first, but in my head, it just seemed like the right thing to do at that moment. So anyways, I'm just gonna marble in, just kind of just pat it. It's like no perfect way to do this. So I kind of just pat it until it's my liking. And then I come in with my Mia Secret Clear after that has dried, and then I encapsulate. And as you can see, I just put a thin layer at the um, near my cuticles, and then I work the rest down, and then I focus on that smile line and my tip so that way I can completely encapsulate the nail. So once I was done with this and getting it to my liking, building up my apex, I went ahead and let this nail dry. And like I said, I used my No Odor Monomer, so it took quite a while to dry. And then I filed it and shaped it and buffed it off camera and applied my clear coat. And that's it, y'all. This was very, very simple. Hope you guys like this. And don't forget to subscribe, guys. And I will see y'all on my next video. Me will be out.